Hi, my name is Doug Chaknita. I'm the head brewer at Blind Enthusiasm Brewery based in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Um, our brewery uh, is two, two breweries actually. We have a, one brewery for ale and lager and one brewery for mixed fermentation and spontaneous fermentation. Uh, most of what we're doing is inspired by uh, European tradition, but with our personal take on those uh, traditional styles and ingredients uh, and everything like that. And how, how has that been received in Canada, which has been basically a wasteland for craft beer for a while? Uh, in Canada, uh, especially in Alberta, it has gone through a major boom recently. They changed the laws um, so that we went from 12 breweries now to, I think, 147 uh, in just five years. Um, so with our brewery being more of the like traditional European, it's been received quite differently than a lot of the new breweries. Uh, it's been received well, but we're doing something that's not the traditional IPAs and the, uh, the hazies that you're seeing in North America. So we're, we're received quite well, and then it pairs really well with our restaurants. We have a restaurant called Bira, which made the top 100 restaurants in Canada this year. So we have, both, we have more of an experience where you're getting these these unique beers that you don't typically see in Canada with a, a food quality that's really based in Belgium. Your links with Europe and in particular Belgium is quite interesting because uh, last year I think it was you and Cantillon were at one of the very famous football clubs here. Can you s tell us how that came about and how those links have developed? Yeah, so the links come from my career. I started in Alberta, moved to Quebec, through Quebec came to Belgium and I worked for Cantillon and Brasserie Le Seine. And uh, with those breweries, I developed friendships that made me a fan of the football club uh, Union saint Gilles or Royal Union saint Gilles uh, And um, when they proposed to do a festival at the stadium, they asked me if I'd be the, contain uh, the Canadian contingency for the, for the festival. So now we do a lager for, for the festival and now for Belgium in general called Union Boys Lager, which is the name of the fan, the fan club for the team, uh, the Union Boys. Uh, so we make that and send it here. And then as part of that, we get to be part of the festival. Where do you see your brewery evolving to? Are you still going to do wild beers? And is it the wild beers that we know so well in Belgium? Or do you have your own Canadian style? Um, it's, it's unique because I have a background in both technical brewing and because of working at Canty and the more traditional, like natural way of doing it. So with those beers, the mixed ferment and spontaneous, the spontaneous is done on a brew house. We designed uh, or, and backwards engineered from systems from the early 1800s. So we can do turbid mash the traditional way and then it goes into a cool ship and is fermented spontaneously. So, but it'll, it's in Alberta, so it'll have its unique microflora and its own unique flavor. But then something that we're doing differently with our mixed fermentation beers is we're not going for that, that Brett Ford mixed fermentation beer that you get typically in North America. Uh, we're using the turbid mash wort that you would traditionally for spontaneous, but we're, we're doing a house blend where we have our own microorganisms that we've isolated at, in tandem with commercial strains, and we're doing something that is more akin to natural wines in balance or uh, something in between North American uh, mixed fermentation or spontaneous beers, Belgian spontaneous beers, and natural wine. We'd hope to be somewhere right in the middle so you get a more unique flavor. And then with the other beers that aren't the mixed fermentation and spontaneous, the same kind of idea. You get the, the notes of North American and you get the notes of European, but we're somewhere in the middle doing our, our unique flavor. For a shout out, uh, what other Canadian breweries should uh, Europeans be looking out for? So what is, can you name some of your favorites? Um, in Ontario, there's um, Godspeed is a, a good friend of mine and a really great brewer. Um, in uh, Quebec, Dunham is always amazing. Uh, in Edmonton, the city where we're based, I really love a brewery, Sea Change. They're doing North American beers, but again with balance, and they're a bunch of fun young punks, so I like those guys. Um, and then BC, uh, there's a brewery called Twin Sales. They're, they're doing the hazies and stuff like that, but they also have a really good 
um, barrel program and things and they and uh, things like that. But some of their brewers have worked at Thierry in in France, in Belgium here, and then they have a good young group of guys that are really looking to push the limit and learn new things, so I really like their beers too. So you're very optimistic about the state of Canadian brewery right now? Well, it's, I, I, I think I have to be. I, I grew up in Edmonton and in the Alberta industry, and like I said earlier, back then there was only 12 breweries, and uh, that was when it was at its max, but a lot of them were doing the same thing. It was. Uh, everyone had the same lineup of beers, so I, I had to be kind of like an optimist to try and do what we're doing and come back to Alberta. So, and then also having worked in Quebec, I've seen how good Canadian beer can really be. So I don't, I don't think it's geographically confined to where good beer can be. It's just you need the right amount of time and the right people doing it. So I think Canada can really, really do something special. And then um, also Canadians travel the most in the world. We're one of the most traveling countries by population. So I think with everybody traveling and trying beers everywhere else, we're going to bring so much back to Canada and it's going to be very unique at the end. Uh, for example, Bim uh, Lafontaine from Godspeed, uh, he worked at De Ciel tradition uh, and in the start of his career. And then he moved to Japan and started a brewery called Grassroots. And now he's back in Canada and he's brought the, he's taken the Quebec flair, taken it to Japan, and then brought it back to Canada in Toronto. So I think when you're seeing more and more brewers doing that, like myself, and I think we'll get something really uniquely Canadian out of it. Very international.